start with the world's deep needs. The world's deep needs are infinite. They're encompassing everything in the world. You have to start with what gives you a sense of purpose. I'm Tom Mayer. I'm the medical director for the NFL Players Association, and I'm very proud to have an exclusive relationship with Executive Speakers Bureau, where I have this great opportunity to help interact with people, for them to help discover both how to lead in their lives, but also in the business part of their life as well. My beautiful and brilliant wife and I, Maureen, have three sons. And when they were younger, I used to drive them to school every day. I'd always say precisely the same thing to them, which is one more step in the journey of discovering where your deep joy intersects the world's deep needs. They prefer to take the bus, as you might guess. They don't want to hear that from their dad. The point is don't start with the world's deep needs because they're infinite. They're all encompassing. Start with your deep joy. What motivates you? What do you love to do? What's your true north? The most fun position I've been in my working history is next, whatever happens next. If you talk to Drew Brees, if you talk to Tom Brady, they were all asked by fathers, sons, what do I need to work on if I want to play in the NFL? And without question, they all said the same thing, the next play. I've been involved in crisis management for years. I was the command physician at the Pentagon on September 11th, the incident commander for inhalational anthrax in that same year when it broke out. Numerous other things, whether it's the pandemic or the concussion crisis. Once people know that background and you're able to share that background in a way that, that doesn't say, oh, look what I did, but to say, these are the things I've done. So been there, done that, got the t-shirt but you will do it too. When it's your time to step up, I have no question you're gonna do it. When you look at burnout, and I've been fortunate to have, have written a book on burnout, it's 300 pages, but I can give it to you in 33 words. Number one, every team member is a leader. Lead yourself, lead your team. Number two, every team member is a performance athlete, just like my athletes in the NFL, involved in a cycle of performance, rest, and recovery. Invest in yourself, invest in your team. And number three, the work begins within. The work begins within. Because if we're going to be successful at burnout, we're going to have to change our culture, because that culture created the burnout, and we're gonna to have to change the system and processes, what I call hardwiring flow. Tom, what's hardwiring flow? Stop doing stupid stuff and start doing smart stuff. And then the third is personal resilience. The first two, culture and hardwiring flow, are organizational resilience. But personal resilience is required because it changes us, but that changes our ability to take on the culture, to take on the system and processes in which we work. So if we're burning people out at an exorbitant rate, then we have to change the culture, change the system, and change ourselves to do all those things. Thank you for considering me for uh, a speaker, a person who might be able to help you and your organization, and most importantly, the people in the organization, because helping others is the thrill of my life.